Hey YouTube, this is Cap Drupal Munoz coming to you live from the secret underground bunker location. And uh, I just wanted to say, in light of the tragedy that happened in Arizona, um, we all need to assess what we're doing with firearms. Uh, I do believe the situation, although tragic, could have easily been prevented by just some simple risk assessment. Handing a fully automatic weapon to a child by a experienced instructor, you know, that we all bear personal responsibility for our actions. Uh, I know that there's people screaming that, 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 you know, sue this person, sue that person over what happened. It's not going to bring back that instructor. It's only going to prolong the pain and the grief and give more ammo to the anti-gunners who are feeding off of this kind of story. The best thing you can do in this situation, in my opinion, is to think about what happened. If you are a certified firearms instructor, if you are somebody who shows other people how to shoot, if you are teaching your children how to shoot, think about the responsibility and the gravity of what you are doing. A simple risk assessment may save a life. That's all it is. You have to think about the situation and what you're doing and weigh the consequences of that. In this case, there were many breakdowns in the risk assessment process. The parents of the child, the instructor who unfortunately paid the ultimate price, bears the brunt of this tragedy because as an instructor they are responsible for doing the risk assessment and in this case it was not done so when you're around your firearms and you fail to clear the magazine fail to clear the weapon when you paint other people with the barrel Think about it. Stop. Think about what you're doing. Go back to the basics. That can prevent the majority of these tragedies. And instructors, you should know. You should be doing a risk assessment with every person out at the range who's on that range. Now, today I was at the range, and I'll have some more video of that later and the range officer's cell phone rang and they quickly without giving people time to clear their weapons called a ceasefire and took that call once again this is about risk assessment about stepping back from having to do everything so quickly, taking the time to do things right. The instructor should have told the person to wait, called the ceasefire, called the right lane clear and the left lanes clear, made, walked up and down that line to make sure all the rifles and were in safe with magazines out and bolt to the rear before answering the call. Let's tighten it up, people. We don't need to give these anti gunners any more bad news stories than they already have. This is Cab Trooper Munoz. I'm out.